Hi, in this video I want to show you what to do when you get an error in a TradingView script. Usually most of the scripts that you will find on TradingView will work just fine. But maybe some of them have some bugs or maybe there is a very weird corner case where suddenly your script will stop working. What you should do then? Let me show you how it looks like when the script stops working. So here I have one of my scripts called Harmonic Scanner Pro and as you can see it's working fine. But I can change the number of points to check to some ridiculously high number and it will make the script time out. Let's put 500. And now you can see I have this red exclamation mark next to the script and when I hover over it I got study error. If you want to see what went wrong, you can click this and you will see, well, the loop takes too long to execute. So obviously there is some limit on the server under which your script should execute. And if the script takes too long, it will fail and you will get the study error. Of course, this is just one of the errors that you can see. For example, with the Harmonic Scanner Pro and Harmonic Predictor, for a long time I was fighting with a bug that was saying something that historical charts can't be reached and I should use some maximum bars bug setting or something like that. And if you're not a programmer, then it's probably much more difficult for you than it is for me to figure out what's wrong with the script and how to fix it. So if you get a study error, you can remove the script from the chart and try to add it again. And I will enable zigzag so we can see that it's actually drawing something. So now it's working. Let's change the number of points to check again. And now it's failing again. But apart from removing it from the chart, you can also hide it and enable it again. And that will try to recompile it and might display it. And another trick is that you can change the interval. And this will again try to recompile the script. So either hiding it or changing the interval are both faster way to try to reload the script. So if your script is having problems from time to time and you need to reset it, the easiest way is to just hide it and display it again. Unfortunately, in this case, the problem is persistent. So, well, here we know what went wrong. We selected 500 points to check and the script just can't check all of them within 200 milliseconds. So we can lower this to let's say 200. And now we can see that it's working fine. I always like to put the draw zigzag because that way I can immediately see if the script has finished rendering or not. Otherwise, when I'm just scanning stocks, I can see those dots indicating that the script is still loading. And sometimes there might not be any pattern, so... So I have to look on the other side of the screen to see do I still have those gray dots or not. But when I enable this draw zigzag, I can immediately see that the script has finished working because, well, it painted something on the chart. So that's one useful trick to speed up the process of scanning different instruments. And one last thing that you can do if hiding and showing again the script doesn't work and changing the interface doesn't work and you still get this error is to simply reload the page. Uh, if you get this pop-up about staying on the page or leaving, it means that your chart has not been saved. So press Ctrl S to save it. You will see this icon and the check mark indicating that it has been saved. So let's break it again. And now it's broken. So if hiding and showing it again doesn't work, and changing the interval doesn't work, you can always reload the browser, click leave the page. And when you go back, 
the script will recompile. Again, this is a slightly faster version than removing it and then searching for the script on the list of indicators and adding it again and changing the configuration options. So those were a few ways how we can quickly reload an indicator that has failed on TradingView platform.